language of, of Gaviota Lives, which is, um, you know, something that I'm really interested in. And Do you know that you could grow bananas on the Gaviota Coast? I don't recommend it because it's environmentally very damaging to the soil, to the other creatures, but we could if we wanted to. We're not exactly, you know, close friends. Greg McKay is, uh, is, is, a, is a fellow warrior. He's an ally. He's a friend. We've met on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he cares a lot, so can't can't beat that. Greg McKay is is, is, a, is a is a is a is a real uh, asset on our side, and sometimes I like to just go into his office and rearrange some of the things on his computer desktop. Professor McKay. Yeah. There's something going on on your computer screen. Any particular reason? Sometimes Greg needs to look at things from a different perspective, I think. Well, right here we have where the cows usually graze. Well, this land has been in my family for over 100 years. I sleep in the same bed my great-grandfather slept in and died in. So have any of the student activists approached you about their plans? <laughs> uh, no, no, what, what plans? T-shirts and what? Maybe like, maybe like 40 or 50 people saw us. People just like driving by. I mean, it's a waste of time. Well, it got you here, didn't it? Well, it's like it's the environment. It's for the environment. Somebody tells me some facts. Somebody else tells me some facts that are completely different. Somebody else tells me some that are completely different. Uh, and everybody, everybody wants something too. So I feel like. To be fair to myself and to just be fair to this whole thing, I've got to research it a little bit. What I want to do is, is come to a compromise that, that, you know, somewhat makes everyone happy. Well, of course, we would like to be able to, not only as I said, entertain more, but we would like to really fulfill a few small or big dreams that we have. I mean, my husband, of course, has worked so hard. Why shouldn't he have a heavy board? Mm -hmm. Why? There's been some complications, uh, but Mr. Rickman's going to talk to that farmer, so things are going to work out. Dylan, hey! How are you? Come on in. Good to see you, buddy. How are you doing, guys? I had no idea about some very, very important information regarding all this, 
that I think you probably knew about failed to tell me, that changes things just a little bit, wouldn't you think? Dylan, listen to me. You're a smart man. You're much smarter than I am. And believe me, I, I, know, I don't know a lot about a lot of things, but I do know real estate. And I know that the way to make this happen is for you and I to figure what we want, and then I'll make that happen and make the rest of it go away. Dylan, picture this. I want you to close your eyes, okay? Are you with me? Take a deep breath. Smell that beautiful ocean air. Hear the sound of the grasses waving in the wind and the sea lapping against the shore. And then picture Gaviota Wild on the edge. Doesn't that sound great? We fail to realize that we must let go. Loving others that truly are is what we need to grow. So, so did you think the protests were successful? We couldn't motivate everyone to march down the State Street. I think that what we were missing was the feeling of the grass under our toes and, and the incense and the music. But I know that today we can celebrate the fact that we will make a difference tomorrow. Hey everyone, quiet down. Ellen's going to sing us a song about the capitalist system that promotes this war and the destruction of the environment. So, um, listen up. Woo! Yeah, let's go. Yeah, baby, do it.